Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. A pleasant good day to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today is Sunday. I will be sharing a recipe with you guys for Thai salmon curry. And it's very nice to explore out of your own culture and try different culture cooking because every culture have a beautiful story behind their cooking. If you want to see how making Thai salmon curry, come on down and let's get cooking. First, I'm going to start with grating a coconut for my Thai curry. And I have a fresh one here. You can also use canned coconut milk for this recipe. Now that I finished grating my coconut, I use a sit down grater. I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of water and I'm gonna leave it in here. And when I'm ready for the milk, I'm gonna come back and squeeze the coconut to get that rich milk for the Thai curry. So here I have my beautiful piece of wild caught salmon. I'm going to cut them into the pieces that I'm going to make the curry with and I'm going to wash these, towel dry them and come back and show you the next step. Now I finish washing, cutting and drying the salmon with some paper towel. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some salt. What I love about salmon, it's very rich in flavor on its own and it doesn't take too much flavor to make a beautiful salmon dish. So the next thing I'm gonna add, we wanna make sure that we have salt on all parts, some black pepper. We're gonna put these in some hot oil and cook them for a little bit before we start making our curry. So my oil is hot, I'm using coconut oil. I'm gonna add the pieces of salmon. And we're just gonna cook it for a few minutes before we add it to the curry. So the fish will stay together instead of falling apart. Okay. I'm gonna do it in two batches. So I slightly fry the salmon one minute on each side. Now we're going to start preparing our Thai curry. For our Thai curry, today I'm going to be using the Thai Kitchen Red Curry. That's the brand. And the Thai curry paste contains of lemongrass, garlic, galangal um, root, which is a similar root to ginger, but different kind of flavor shallots, coriander root, kaffir, lime peel, or a specific lime peel that they have in um, Thai cooking. And I'm also gonna be using some seafood sauce. If you have shrimp sauce or fish sauce, that can work as well. So these are our two ingredients today that's gonna bring our Thai salmon curry together. So now I'm going to be adding my Thai paste to the oil and I'm using a little bit of oil that I cooked the salmon in so we can get that nice salmon flavor. I'm adding two tablespoons of Thai paste and we're going to mix this up. Into the oil. The flavor and the smell is so nice, right? And this gives a nice kind of sourish, kind of hot, spicy kind of flavor, which is really amazing for seafood. And my kids requested seafood this weekend. So I am also happy about their choice. So now our curry paste has been cooking. We're going to add our coconut milk now. 
and I'm adding a one and a half cup of coconut milk mixed with water. I just love that beautiful red curry that I'm seeing here now. And I wanna go in with about a half a teaspoon of my seafood sauce. And this will also add a nice tangy kind of spicy flavor. So today is a very flavorful um, fish that we're making. For all my Asian friends and supporters, big shout out to you guys. I love to try different recipe because I believe in everybody's cooking is unique in its own way. So if you have amazing recipe that you would love to share with me, please let me know. Send me a, um, a message with your beautiful recipes from your different country. I would love to try it for my, my fans as well. So let's check on our sauce. Wow. Whoa. It is cooking up nicely. I'm gonna blow down my stove. We're gonna turn this a little. And that coconut with that curry paste and the fish sauce is really mingling right now. I'm gonna add my salmon pieces. And we will let everything flavor up together. I'm gonna add, hopefully I can fit everything in this pan. We want all the beautiful flavor to get into those salmon pieces. Mm -hmm. And this will be a very delicious, spicy lunch for my happy, hungry family, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, look at that. So now let me add some um, green chilies and some cilantro. And this will add a really nice flavor to the dish. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off my stove. I'm gonna let this cover it and leave it like for five minutes before I serve it. So all that goodness and this here, right here is my green chili. We're gonna enjoy this lunch today. Let me just put everything nicely. This looks beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So I just prepared a beautiful plate of vegetables to go with our lunch today. And we have some delicious garden tomatoes. We have some cherry tomatoes. We have some yellow tomatoes. And we have the regular one. I like to sprinkle a little bit of salt because this brings out the flavor for all the vegetables. And here I have some radishes, cucumbers, and some carrots. We're just gonna sprinkle the salt to let the flavor of the vegetable pop. And I like to squeeze some lime juice on top and this gives that nice zingy taste for the vegetable. And who doesn't like a nice plate of vegetable with some lemon or lime juice on top? Lemon would work fine as well, whatever you have handy. And this is ready, that's how simple this is. So here it is, my beautiful Thai curry salmon. Very delicious looking. I can see those green chilies, the cilantro, and my mouth is just watering. I have my vegetable to go with that. I'm gonna plate up and let you guys know how this tastes, but before I do that, I have a success story to share with one of my viewers, subscribers. She also have her own Facebook page. So please remember to check out Sunshine Reads on her Facebook page. She is one of our Guyanese sister, my Wakanam Island girl as well. She's doing an awesome job. 
she ha usually have cooking and entertainment on her channel so you guys please show her some love i'll leave the name on the bottom of her um, facebook page so you guys can check her out Please remember to check out and show some love to our friend Sunshine Facebook page. Here it is, my beautiful Thai salmon lunch. I'm gonna dig in and I have everything, but before I do so, I wanna squeeze some lime juice because this goes so nice with lime juice or lemon juice if you have and my plate looks so beautiful I'm just gonna take a nice piece here I want to bite on that chili but I have to wait a little bit a piece of the salmon and the salmon is cooked so nice so to all my viewers and all my subscribers we don't have to eat salmon in the oven all the time there's so many different ways so cheers to you guys and happy Sunday. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The sweetness of the coconut milk. There is that nice hint of sourness, sweetness, a little kick of uh, spicy inside the Thai curry is just a very beautiful combination of flavors with the salmon that's already rich in flavor oh my goodness and a hint of that coriander chili pepper lime juice my mouth is just celebrating a happy party right now so I'm gonna take another bite and I have all the good vegetables to go with this meal I'm gonna take a piece of the chili pepper with my salmon, and the salmon is so flaky. Look at that. It's really cooked nice, and it have that nice flavor that I crisp up a little in the oil. Mm, another mouthful for you guys. Mm. So divine, so delicious so flavorful so i'm gonna sit down and enjoy my salmon thai curry hope you guys give me a thumbs up for this recipe if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new you just have to subscribe to one video so i hope you will consider doing so i love you guys stay blessed stay safe enjoy the rest of your weekend bye for now